Alright, it turns out one video about the hidden werewolf story just isn't enough. So here goes the follow-up. Before I begin though, in case you haven't seen the initial one, I urge you to check it out first and then come back. To me? No! Okay, so in the previous video I talked about this werewolf family in The Witcher 3, where one of them was called Giselle. And based on this name, as well as the style in which Giselle's journal was written, I was fairly certain that this werewolf was in fact a woman. But I had a viewer who wrote to me that in the Czech localization of The Witcher 3, they clearly refer to Giselle as a man. In fact, after publishing the video, I had another Czech person confirm that that is indeed the case. Couple that with the fact that the eviction note calls Hubert and Giselle sirs in English, I ended up changing my mind and thought that Giselle is in fact a man and the brother of Hubert. However, there's been some new developments. A few people, for example, commented that both the Polish and the German versions of the game actually refer to Giselle as you would refer to a woman. And since the Witcher games are written first in Polish, I must assume that the Polish version carries more weight than the Czech one. In addition to that, I had several French people, or at least I assume they are French, maybe Canadian, who knows, but they said that there is no way a man would be called Giselle, especially the way it's written, and given that Toussaint is heavily inspired by France, it just has to be a female name, and therefore the werewolf has to be a woman. And what's more, it turns out that the English version isn't really incorrect either. They are indeed called sirs in the eviction notice, but at least a couple of people said that this is in fact a correct, if a little old-fashioned way, to address a group of people where at least one of them is male. And on top of this, a viewer by the name of Queasy said that there is a note at the quarry notice board way down here to the south that actually talks about the werewolves. Now the name of the note is Elderly Couple in Need where the person who wrote it accuses Countess Tiffany of being a wicked and heartless harlot for evicting the quote elderly couple who lived on the Bassan farm for a very long time. By the way, if you're not seeing that note initially, wait a bit and come back to the notice board later. New ones will show up. But anyway, the elderly couple has definitely got to be the werewolf family, since Giselle did sound like an elderly individual and also talked about living there for a long time. And so, with all these new pieces of information, I think we can safely conclude that Giselle was indeed the wife of Hubert and not his brother. Now, allow me to quickly address some theories in the comment section of the previous video. First off, a few people, after reading that the Polish version claimed Giselle is a woman, suspected that she may in fact be Hubert's sister, which would make some sense they do indeed have the same last name. However, now that we have this elderly couple note, I'm fairly certain that they were in fact husband and wife. Also, other people theorized that perhaps they were a homosexual couple. That is, when I thought they were brothers initially. This, of course, is proven incorrect by the Polish and German versions, as well as the name being exclusively female. And also remember that they share the same last name. So that would mean they also have to be married. Okay, and finally, I want to end this video with yet another note we can find. It is in a bandit camp to the east of the Bassan farm, which also references the werewolves. Damn, you're ugly. It's a journal of a bandit, actually, where he talks about sending two of his men to negotiate with Hubert at the farm. However, they failed to return, which prompted him to investigate the place. He found the farm ravaged with only a couple of crazed individuals constantly going on about some werewolf, who, as we now know, turns out to be Hubert himself. Now, this doesn't add too much, I suppose, maybe other than the fact that Hubert was a decent person, but it's certainly another piece that fleshes out the whole puzzle even more. And with that, I believe we're done. I thank you very much for your comments and your thoughts about the whole thing, it's been a wonderful experience unraveling these hidden gems in The Witcher 3. Also, thank you very much for watching and for your support on the YouTube membership as well as Patreon. And until the next video, 
which will likely not be about hidden werewolves anymore, stay tuned and be good.